You could say he does all the dirty work, the watching and waiting, trying to uncover a wrongdoing or find a person or item that's been missing. As WKYT's Miranda Combs reports, new at 6, a Lexington man has made a business of getting into other people's business. An unusual weekend for Lexington police in 2004, three murders connected only by timing. I don't want to say there's no suspects, but what I would tell you is, is there has not been an arrest yet. That's what we need. We need that break. We need that, I heard this person say they did that with this. 20-year-old James Sinkhorn was one of the victims from that April weekend in 2004. His murder is still unsolved. He was found gunned down by a neighbor walking her dog. At this point, we're definitely at a standstill on the case. Matthew Valentine talks like a police officer. And, and no resolution to that. It's an unsolved homicide in the area. But he's so not. Jamie didn't necessarily hang out with the best group of guys. He doesn't wear a uniform. He flies under the radar. Sinkhorn's grandmother came to him a couple of years ago asking for help in finding out who killed her grandson. And she's willing to do whatever it takes. Including hire a private investigator. She understood that something bad happened. And she wanted to know how and why. Finding the truth is Valentine's specialty. Not usually investigating homicides, though. Typically, he's the guy you call when you need to find someone or find out about someone. We enjoy finding out what can't be found out. He can find a lost love. No. Hey. Drugs. Hey. Or a parent that needs to pay up. We get phone calls, oh my goodness, this is where they are. Andy can find out if a spouse is cheating, if an employee is stealing, or if a significant other is lying. This is our bread and butter. That's what we do most of. Most people have that suspicion, and they call us and they say, I have an intuition, I have a suspicion that something's going wrong. He's had intuitions usually right on. He says he rents out a lot of GPS trackers, cheaper than hiring him to sit and watch your curiosity, and just as effective. We get hired by as many females as we do males. But it's not just checking for cheaters. We get, I want to find my real dad. I want to find my real mom. Or find a killer, like this decade-old mystery that haunts a family and a PI whose job is to catch a liar. In Lexington, Miranda Combs, WKYT. The cost for Valentine's services can range from thousands of dollars to a couple hundred dollars depending on the request.